And we're back. I am in the suit section, so we're gonna look through suits, uh, jackets, um, tell you which brands I think are good and which are not for 2020. That uh, was so the first one, Ralph Lauren. Considering that everything here is $16, um, if this was for myself, I would say yes, but it's not made in Canada, so it's probably a higher quality, but as you can see, there's a little blemish there, so I'm gonna say pass, DKNY, pass. Now with suits, usually you can check um, the type in the pocket over here. Usually it'd be in here or in here, and then the size is usually on the other side. Um, especially on the more expensive ones. This one's made in the USA, so it's definitely a nice one. However, I'm not looking for that brand. Austin Reed, and just because it's really expensive doesn't always mean that it actually will sell. Um, you know, this right here is made in Italy. Good example. Probably would not sell, but you could always check the solds on it, but I have a pretty good time selling suits so i would say skip for now and the best thing usually for suits is if you find a pair which this right here it's a pretty nice suit union made it's john Bavartos. it's made in canada Let's see the size on it i always try to buy my size so in that way worst case scenario worst case scenario i'm just stuck wearing it myself it's a 40r so too small Say skip. Let's see who is this. Brooks Brothers. Uh, unfortunately, Brooks Brothers does not really sell very well. Um, even though it's an expensive brand, um, I would only get it if it was like something I couldn't pass up myself. Chaplin, no. Lord and Taylor, no. Um, let me see, what do we have here, Jack Clean USA, Bill Blass. Now the one brand that I always look for whenever I'm looking for suits and I've never found it would be Tom Ford. As everyone knows, that's pretty much the holy grail of suits. So if I ever find that, I'll probably scream, but I don't think that's going to happen. But you never know, crazier things have happened. Jones, New York. Definitely skip on that, please. There is a brand that's not really that expensive, but I think sells pretty well. And it'd be Indochino. Um, this right here is Club Monaco. Does not sell very well. It's priced at $20. Not worth it. Um, Jones, New York. Lots of that. Not worth it. John Bavartos. 42 long it's my size i might consider it um especially if it's on sale so think about it i'll let and just so you guys know a lot of those brands i looked at earlier i looked at the solds on like that adidas it was like adidas pure or something like that i was like not some good not so great on the solds and Brandon found jeans that were Valentino, but they are a size 48 in men's, so probably not gonna get those. Uh, best thing we found so far was a Marnie um, shirt, which Marnie is like a Italian brand. Oh, let's see what we got here. Sorry, ugly as sin, some of them. And I apologize if you can't see very well because it's kind of high up. So I'm like sh doing stretches just to check all this stuff. Express, Mark Shale. Uh, I've never heard of that, but I'm not looking it up. This is 20. Quat Sky of Oceanside. Chaps by Ralph Lauren, nah. There's tons of Ralph Lauren stuff. I think this might be Indochino, let me see. I don't see. No. Can't really tell what that is, but someone ripped out the Kenneth Cole. Definitely not a good 
brand for resale. What is this? <sighs> I can't tell. I'm getting tired. My arm, it's killing me. <laughs> Giovanni. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. And if anyone has any like soup brands that they really like, you can always drop a line. Um, no. Not Ralph Lauren. Joseph A. Bank. Hell no. Classic clothing. 40. Find anything? Just some. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll double check and look it up. Reformation. It's what? Oh, wow. Yeah, Untuck It. Great brand to look for. Just FYI, men love Untuck It. I love it. So. Oh, I don't have sign consent for you to be on video. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's joking. I don't need consent. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> Were you being serious? <laughs> adding some are you, are you adding some drama to the TV? Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, it'll be kind of awkward because you live with me, so. <sighs> 46. Maiden Turkey Boss. It's a shame. It's not my size. And they have a price $40. So. That's gonna be a no. Wait, Hugo Boss sells for like $1,000 for no reason, other than they're a high-end men's brand. <laughs> Zara Man. Honestly, like Zara and J. Crew like suits actually sell pretty well, but it's not worth paying $23 for it. Calvin Klein. It was at one point coming back in, but definitely not good. And proper cloth, it's actually a good brand, um, but they make um, tailored clothing, so you don't, it doesn't really say the size on it. So you kind of have to do all the sizes measurements yourself, but it is a nice brand. I'm gonna say skip on that, because it looks kind of small. Small and really large clothing, sometimes it's not worth it, because it takes forever to sell. People are usually in the middle, medium, large, XL size range. So beyond that, it's usually not worth your time. Although I have sold like 3X and 2X just from like really popular brands. <sighs> Rugby, interesting, never heard of that. This is like a hand, it's like a tailored, so we are in New York. There's a lot of people that have tailor-made shirts. And like I found a lot of suit supply last week, which I always say that's a good brand because it's expensive in their store. Can't really see what this is, but put it back if I can't find it. Ah. Trying to go through this quickly and it's killing my hand. Oliver. I'll look up that brand. I've never heard of them, so I'll look them up. Maybe you haven't heard of something. If it looks nice, I'll look it up. Uh, Gant does not sell very well. Uh, it's a Target brand. American Apparel does not sell well. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Sometimes you gotta get down and dirty. 
This brand here used to be like, oh, let me look it up, but it's kind of like not that expensive. Denim and flower. This is that proper cloth. If it's my size, I would buy it. No. Let's see, pace wear, never heard of that. Uh, let's see. Uh. Alright. More suits. I love suits. They don't usually sell very well though. So you have to really have a reason to buy it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that's Brooks Brothers. Super nice. It's a full suit. Could be worth it, but it's $30 here. So I'm gonna say skip. <clears throat> so I don't know what is on sale right this minute. Which is a bad idea. You should always know the color that's on sale. Sometimes it's on the other side. Try to do a trick me up. Brooks Brothers. So if anyone ever wants to buy a suit at Brooks Brothers, you can probably find your size in the thrift store for maybe like 1% of the price, even online. 50% like super way more affordable this is actually a really good brand um, it's very expensive I've sold it a few times um, the only thing is this is like a different name brand on Saks and I don't know if this is my size might look it up <sighs> let's see what else do we have now, let's see, Jack Victor. Expensive brand, but does not resell very well. Gantt. I don't know if I've ever found a Gantt suit before, but it doesn't have the full suit. So sometimes I'm like, eh, nah. Exhibit, never heard of that. Jeffrey Bean, cheap brand, not worth it. This is saying it's $30. It's like a handmade suit. 30 could you imagine? <laughs> um, I did find a $2,000 um, blazer here. Just made by like Freeman Sports Club. And uh, I picked it up for myself because it was a $1,700 suit for $16. Not too bad. Uh, the men's store, Bloomingdale's. Nah. Hate when you can't find it right away. Zara men. Zara man, I should say. 38. It's kind of small. Joseph Bank. Joseph A. Bank, I should say. This is a Hugo Boss full suit, 42L, it's actually my size. I might try it on, because it's a full suit. And Brandon will kill me, because I have tons of suits that I don't need. This is Hugo Boss. What else do we got here? Uh, Banana Republic. Hickey Freeman. Another example of an expensive brand. It's actually in right now, but I wouldn't buy the old Hickey Freeman brands. Um, we actually had one for a while. We had a Hickey Freeman suit didn't sell for a whole year. And then randomly it sold and we couldn't find it. So make sure you hold on to your stuff. <laughs> We ended up moving to New York, so it's kind of hard to find. 
Indochino. Now this is a good brand. It's not very expensive, but people like Indochino for whatever reason. And it looks like it's like one of those made for you. So I might take a look at it. Zara Celio Club. Hmm. Never heard of that brand. GS. Never heard of that, but I'm gonna say skip. Here we are to the shirts. Time to stretch my arms out a little bit. I feel like I'm old now. <clears throat> I have like major allergies, which is not good because everyone thinks you're like near death because of coronavirus. <laughs> But no worries, it's just allergies for now. Hopefully it stays that way. Charles Tywit, it's like a good brand if you could find in the bins, but not full price. Kate Hill. J. Crew. Uniqlo. Button down. Never heard of that brand. 15 and a half, I might look it up. <clears throat> Let's see. It's so much easier to look down here. <clears throat> New York. Faded Glory. John Vartos. Um, this brand, John Vartos, I have mixed feelings on it. Sometimes it sells, sometimes it doesn't. And this is like my size, so $15.99, probably not a good idea, but I'll do a little digging. Indochino, showing up again. It's actually really nice, but I don't know, I'm mixed on Indochino. I've sold it before, but... This is a brand by Brooks Brothers Red Fleece. I actually have a suit that I found here, which brand new, but I'm gonna have to say skip for now. Hasn't sold yet, it's just been kind of sitting, sitting there. It's brand new. My size, but the pants don't fit me. So those are the breaks, right? Time to lose weight, I guess. <laughs> uh, still have some more suits to go through. Huh? I always go through all the men's section. You never know what you'll find. Um, all right, time to go through the suits again. So I guess we'll just call this Amazing Suits. I actually really like this color. This color is in, um, but I don't like how small that looks. But yeah, Olive is super in right now. It's having a resurgence. But of course it matters what the brand is and all that. And don't want to be dressed in some no name. In fact, I would say that men more than women care more about the brand, but I guess it depends to each his own. Dillard's. Dillard's is like super expensive, but it's like super ugly. It might be someone's cup of tea, but it would take a long time to sell. Which, that's the game, right? Gamble. Calvin Klein. No, sir. Antonio Calais. No idea who that is. Might look it up. Might not, I'm not really feeling it today. The suits kind of, eh. Croft and Barrow. Um, never heard of that brand, kind of cool looking, but we're kind of past that season. 
like some people were looking around like this dude talking to himself <sighs> this is like that Tuca Santoria <clears throat> I usually don't buy white shirts because white shirts tend to not be so great but hey oh geez I'm losing my voice I need some water all right time to take a break hope you guys are enjoying the content I need to get a drink